Parents, how many times have you been stunned by what comes out of your child's mouth or by the way they act, only to figure out later the behavior was influenced by a cartoon? Yeah, like it or not, children soak up what they see on TV. Tonight in this 11 News special report, Kids and Cartoons, we take a look at the impact it can have on a child's development for both good and bad. These moms are part of a support group that meets twice a month at the First Assembly of God in Grand Junction. On the top of their minds, doing the best they can to raise their children. One big concern is what their kids see on cartoons. Preschool and younger, especially their sponges and everything that they watch is teaching them how to live. But some of those lessons that are taught, these moms could do without. They'll use the word stupid and they'll say, you know, you're stupid and the next thing you know, one brother's called the other brother stupid and I'm not okay with that. And it goes beyond the language. But I noticed later on that day and that following week that they started throwing fits exactly like the cartoon character had been doing. These experiences are right in line with what professional studies on childhood development show. So what's the answer? Keep your children away from cartoons altogether? Kathy Story, the director of Hilltop's Child and Family Center, says no. There are good cartoons out there, but there are some very mature level cartoons out there that parents may mistakenly think that they're appropriate for a young child. Story says parents, you are the answer. She says mom and dad should monitor what their children watch and how much they watch. And if something inappropriate does come up, turn it into a positive. Bringing up the conversation and setting the value for your family right then and there so that they know it's not okay. The key, Story says, is to take an active role in finding age-appropriate cartoons for your child. Advice that hits close to home for these moms. We'll actually review things first or review things online. Um, and there are several different websites where you can get content of cartoons and movies. Um, so we do that before we even watch something. And when reviewing cartoons, consider a new twist on an old saying. Your kids are what they watch. So, um, in our house, we choose based on the character that I want built in my children. The average American child spends four to six hours a day in front of a television, and that's just way too much. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends children above two years of age watch no more than two hours a day. Children under two shouldn't be watching at all. 